Welcome back to Trading with CJ. We have a very exciting penny stock today. This is in the healthcare sector. And no, it is not BioNano, it is not SENS, although it has the potential to explode just like they have and get incredible gains. Now, I'm gonna give a massive shout out here to Wednesday Adams, AKA our Witch Queen in the Discord chat. Wednesday Adams uh, told me about this one a few days ago. We've been doing some research into it, and yeah, it looks really, really promising. So massive shout out to you. And if you want to join our Discord as well and get these picks early before they explode, then there is a link in the description. It is the first link. It is completely free to join. And yeah, join our investing community. Now, this has been on an incredible run over the last day already. However, you know, there's still plenty of time. It's very much not quite on the radar just yet, but it's on the cusp. But we did see a, uh, a big run up. We saw a run up of around about 34% just yesterday. That is incredible gains on this one. So we're gonna jump into this stock, what it is, what it's all about. Before we do, smash the like, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, let's get into it. This ticker symbol NDRA mission is to bring new capabilities to ultrasound and broaden access to better healthcare. We know the healthcare sector is booming right now. We're seeing stock after stock, and most of these are doing a very nice upward trend right now. People are loving this sector, whether it be as a trade, long-term, short-term, etc. We're gonna see if this is a potential buy. Endora is developing a next generation thermoacoustic enhanced ultrasound, AKA TAYUS system to enable clinicians to visualize human tissue, tissue composition and their function and temperature in ways previously possible with only CT and MRI scans at a fraction of the cost. So they are doing big things. They have a problem. They have a solution or a product to it. And they're trying to work these out and get some big revenue and solve a problem. Endora's first Teos application will focus on the quantification of fat in liver for early detection and monitoring of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which affects over 1 billion people globally. Now this might all sound a bit confusing, but basically, they have this technology that is going to help solve or find this fatty disease at early stages anyway. And we're gonna show you exactly how this works. What is Taeus? I'm gonna play this video because a lot of people have commented that they love having a little visual going on. It's only about 30 seconds, so I'm gonna put this up right here. At the patient bedside. But what is Taeus? Thermoacoustic enhanced ultrasound combines traditional ultrasound with short radio frequency pulses, generating additional and unique ultrasound signatures Based on tissue composition, temperature, and function, Teus can differentiate tissues such as fat, muscle, and blood to help doctors assess diseases and guide therapies throughout the human body. Visualizing tissue temperature in real time during surgeries that use heat or cold to treat cancer or irregular heartbeats, or showing doctors the movement of blood through damaged or diseased tissue associated with internal bleeding or cancer. Soon, Teus will enable doctors to do things with an everyday ultrasound. So that right there is a summary of what this company is doing. Very big things and it is solving this big problem. So why do we need to measure liver fat? Well, excess fat in liver is the root cause of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, aka NAFLD, NAFLD we call it, and non-alcoholic uh, stephatitis, I think that's how you say it, stephatitis, something like that but which affect more than 1 billion people globally. And this is obviously a serious problem, but Endora have come up with a solution to find this early and catch it early, because when it is caught early, it can be reversible, but if not, it can advance into um, fibrosis, cancer, etc., which can be irreversible, which is why diagnosing these conditions as soon as possible is key to this company. So this uh, product they've got, this technology is gonna help this happen. Now, I mentioned in the video that there's not many ways of detecting this right now. And until now, the options for detection have been extremely limited. Invasive liver biopsy and expensive MRI, expensive MRI, has been the only options, meaning that detection and monitoring for most patients is out of the question. And at this moment in time, 1.4 billion people globally are diagnosed with this disease. That is between 15 and 40% of the world's population, which is absolutely a ridiculous amount. And the current cost of this in medical costs is $103 billion, which is absolutely huge. MRI is expensive, and that is what why Endora Life Sciences are trying to come up with a solution, this technology that is extremely going to reduce this cost. And not just reduce the cost, gonna reduce it, lower the cost by 50 times the current uh, price, which is absolutely crazy. So it's saving money, it's solving a problem, and you know things are looking really, very really promising for this company, their, mo their ambitions are really, really strong. We're gonna jump into some uh, of their investor presentation here and see about their future goals, etc. 
We know Endora Life Sciences have this technology called Taos, and they have multiple different ways of getting in some revenue income from this. They have the software, the hardware, services they can offer out, disposables, and they can license. They can license this uh, product out as well to people. At the moment, we know 1.4 billion people are affected with this liver disease, and 50 pharma therapies are in development. That is quite a big number, but no practical diagnostic tools exist which is quite crazy. This is a 21 billion market opportunity. That is a big, big market opportunity. And if we just quickly look at the market cap, we are currently around about 59 million uh, at this moment in time. Of course, market cap can change on a daily basis. But yeah, that is a crazy opportunity right there for Endora. We've mentioned about MRI being one of the main options at the moment, and that currently costs two to three million dollars, okay? Five plus tons and a purpose-built room, relatively few systems versus ultrasound what we showed you the video on much easier much more straightforward and the liver biopsy is invasive painful impractical to do frequently and you can see here Taos is really moving fast they have 50 compounds in development including 30 in phase two to three so we can see here things are looking really really good Taos directly measures a material property of liver tissue only affected by the amount of fat and not confined by fibrosis like other methods this is a win-win for this product. This is, can be done is in little of 15 minutes of user training, which is absolutely crazy. In 15 minutes, this procedure can, can be done basically. Locate liver with any traditional B mode ultrasound and apply and activate. Each scan takes 1.5 seconds. That is absolutely crazy. So quick and easy, time saving and saving money as well at the same time, still getting quality results. Let's jump into some of their key um, milestones going forward for 2021. What they anticipate achieving. They want to receive their FDA approval. Okay, and this is big. If they get this FDA, they can really start to boost their product out and get some big revenue coming in. They filed for this FDA approval in June 2020, the end of June. Uh, FDA conducts regulatory reviews, which typically takes several months. The Endora team will focus on executing key components of its European commercialization plan, including establishing clinical evaluation evaluation reference insights and initiating sales in the second half of the year. But that's the plan going forward. They want to start getting these sales coming in. It didn't happen within the end of 2020. However, the, you know, they, they aimed to get it done in 2020. So it should be done very, very soon. This uh, approval, in my opinion, is really close. And that's what is a, a catalyst for this company, okay? Because once they get that, we will see good things. Of course, it is not a guarantee. They might not get this, but it does look extremely, extremely likely. So the rest of their aims are to ramp commercialization in the EU and US, as we already know. They wanna get their first revenue from the sales from the Taos. They also wanna collect and publish clinical evidence, which is gonna help boost and get that FDA approval even quicker. They're gonna form deeper alliances with drug developers and medical device OEMs. They're building on relationships as well. Things are looking really, really promising for this company, and they wanna surpass 80 IP assets in the portfolio. Their 13th US pattern was also granted a few days ago, and their IP portfolio currently stands at 78 assets, including patents in preparation, filed, issued, and licensed. Great news, they are continuing to grow, providing valuable protection for Taos technology. That's what they want to do. They want to protect this so other people, other companies out there can't copy it, and they're getting all these patents underway and slowly, slowly getting approved as well. And on top of filing all these patents, they also have more good news coming out. Commercial launch plans for Taos, including establishing clinical research partnerships worldwide. We've already spoke about they want to build on their partnerships in 2021, and that's what they're doing. They have an initial focus on Europe, and to date, the company has five established uh, research partnerships, including two in Europe, two in the US, and one in Canada. They are really, really growing and trying to spread out. They've got the US, Canada, and Europe forming nice partnerships. And in 2020, December, it renewed its collaboration agreement with the GE Healthcare Unit of General Electric Company, extending the agreement by two years up until December 2022. Healthcare is the global leader in clinical ultrasound and has been Endora's partner since 2016, which is great news because they're renewing that partnership. They also have faith in this company going forward and it's the global leader right there. So they're in a very good place to take advantage of this. Let's have a look at some of their financials. This was from December, 2020, pro form of those. So cash was 7.3 million and the market cap was obviously considerably lower. It now sits around about 55 million. But from their Q3 uh, financial results, they had operating expenses, which increased to 3.3 million. So the expenses are going up, which is not a great sign. The net loss was 1.9 million. So the balance sheet is not the best in the world, okay? They have a bit of cash on there, but they are making a loss. We'd like that to be better. But at the end of the day, this is a company that is innovative, coming up with an idea to a problem. Hopefully when they can start to push these products out and make some revenue, 
the balance sheet will look a lot healthier as well. So let's have a look at its stock price. I'm also going to tell you what I'm doing with this company, if I own, if I don't, etc. what my plan is. But yeah, its current price is $1.74, okay? And it has shot up quite rapidly in the last day. It's like a lot of people have just caught onto this one, despite the fact nobody's really covering this one right now. We heard about this one a few days ago in our Discord. Like I said, thanks to Wednesday Adams. So yeah, you know, big things are to come. They have a lot of potential going forward. Could be a trade, could be a buy. The stock price has been $1.74 at this moment in time. And if we go back to where it was a year ago, it was around about that, okay? So it's gone back to where it was after seeing a big drop. And it's been sitting around about 70, 80 cents for the last few months. In about the last five days, we're up 88% at this moment in time, which is big gains, I think you'll agree, in just five days. And really a lot of that has come from the last day. So I think that maybe people are noticing this company now and a lot of swing traders might be getting involved. A lot of short sellers could potentially get involved. So it is definitely a risky company in my opinion. Of course, they have good things going forward. They look very interesting and they have a lot of potential, that's for sure. What am I doing with this company? Do I invest? Well, I did open a position. I opened a position. I let everybody in the Discord know uh, just yesterday actually. I opened this position. I said I was going to buy it on the weekend, and I did. I have a very small position, okay? I'm using this as a trade personally because I do think we're going to see some big gains. And, of course, I bought when the market opened, and we're already sitting on very nice gains. Do I think it will continue to run? I do for a little bit. I don't know if we'll see a pullback like we do on many of these companies. But, yeah, for this one, you know, it's a bio. It's a pharmaceutical company. It's a healthcare company. You know, it's in a sector that is absolutely exploding with new company after new company, which means people are taking their profits and putting them elsewhere. So definitely be wary of that. But I do see a lot of potential in this one going forward for sure. They have innovative idea. And when they get that approval, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a very, very nice green day and week and months to follow. That is for sure. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this company. Is it one you've heard of? Are you holding it? And if you have any other stocks you want me to cover, drop them in the comments down below because I'm happy to do that. Also, if you can smash the like and subscribe to my channel, that is really appreciated. Thanks for watching and until next time.